What's happening, everybody? Your host, AMF1534, here. Let's play some Battle Clash. The, uh, one of the most awesome games ever to be released on the Super Nintendo console. So here's how this is going to go, because I am not doing... I actually own this game and a Super Scope here at my house. But since I don't have the recording software to do it from my TV, we're going to have to do it emulated like this. But I highly encourage that you get this for a Super Nintendo with a Super Scope, because it's fucking rad that way. Anywho, so what we need to do is we need to configure the uh, Super Scope plug-in. We're going to do that. That's how we're going to be able to play it on a computer, so here we go. Are you guys ready to see some one-on-one -on -one robotic combat that results in me winning every single time because I'm awesome at this game? Me too. Okay, so there's actually a couple different ways to play this. Um, I'll explain it later, and I don't mean between battle game and time trials. Um, we're only going to do the battle game because time trials is pretty much the same thing, just trying to do it quicker, but it doesn't really matter. So here's the old world map. We're going to be going through all of these. We probably, we'll probably probably get from here to uh, maybe um, probably Kyoto, I think is the last place we go to. I don't remember. Maybe it was... I, I don't remember. I always forget the, the order and how this goes, but looks like our first opponent is Garum. Look at this fucking guy. Oh-ho! Who is this who challenges me? You are foolish to even try. I like how our character looks like a like somebody from like ancient Greece. Our first enemy. To prevent him from firing his attack, make sure to let the laser charge to full energy, then press fire. Use machine gun fire to protect yourself from his attack. You, lowly child, you have no idea of the battle game. I am Thanatos' first chief, and you have underestimated me. That's okay. Or I will show you what real strength can be. Alright. So, the concept is simple. You need to kill him before he kills you. It's a very simple thing to do. Usually, for the most part, every single opponent that you fight against, their weak spot is going to be right in the middle of their body. Just right, right in the chest plates that can be your best overall area. Not like any of these guys are really going to post much or pose much of a threat to me because I've played this game at least 50 million times, and it's a lot easier playing it on a computer because there's no real aim that you have to do. When you actually play this with a super scope, it's a little more interesting at, at, at least. Whoa, shit! I forgot he throws his arms at you. <laughs> yes, he is one of the only opponents in which they actually he can actually like throw his arms at you. If you didn't see that, just threw a bomb there. If you on your super scope, use the little cursor button that's down on the handle. You can switch between your regular gun and your bomb. You're allotted one of those per fight. It'll, you know, obviously reset once you go to a different opponent. Uh, if you're using it on mouse, you use your right click button. Shoot! I can't believe I lost to him! To a child! God, look at that well. That is huge. And his eyeballs are popping out. Shoot! Why did I lose? Maybe it was just bad luck. Do not be so confident, kid. You won by luck. I'm so annoyed. Beat him in less than a minute. There's only, I think there's only approximately three opponents out of all the ones that we fight that I, that'll take me longer than one minute to kill. I'm just throwing that out there. A lot of these people are not very difficult. And now we're off to Egypt to fight Scarab, which is, I guess, a pretty fitting name for Egyptian stuff. Man, this guy's fat as shit. So is this guy. That is a beastly dude. Hmm. This the ST that defeated Garum? It looks like a walking scrap heap to me. I've spent lots of money making the armor on my ST invincible. No one can give my Scarab any damage with any kind of attack. An energy bolt will not scratch that armor, but somewhere there should be a weak point. When you find the spot, fire an energy bolt to destroy him. Hmm. Let me see if you can defeat me in my Scarab. <laughs> yes, we're seeing the best of my voice acting right now. So, for this fight, it's, I mean, you can sit here all day and try to shoot at him, but it's really not going to do jack shit unless you shoot him in the eyes, which does pretty much nothing, or the arms. It's really not worth, you know, wasting your time with it. He'll actually expose his weak point here in just a second, uh, right here, actually. So he's going to cross his arms and open up his dick plate down there, and then you can just shoot it. And now you can, once you break that open, then the rest of his body becomes vulnerable to everything else. The thing that makes him a real bitch is that he shifts direction so quickly, it's annoying. 
but we'll throw our bomb at him. The best thing about bombs is not only do they do a lot of damage, they also intercept any incoming fire that comes at you. And so if anybody, if they're like throwing a bunch of stuff out like this, and you're like, oh, I'm gonna use my bomb, and you're not gonna be able to fucking do anything. So suck it. But yeah, this guy's not very hard once you uh, once you get the old weak point exposed. He's actually not very hard at all. I mean, especially when he does that, he actually like hurt his own cause by doing that. I'll throw out all these projectile things and I'll switch direction and then they won't even do anything. But yeah, I barely... It's very rare when I beat him under a minute. Oh my stars, this is awful! This is the first time I've received such an insult. I warn you, the other chiefs won't be happy when they see what you've done. What a disaster. Oh my scarab, my poor, poor scarab. And it cost me so much. But money cannot... Money cannot always be the part that's uh, that makes your ST better. It's always about who's inside the robot shooting the guns. That's what it's all about. This, I think, is one of my favorite opponents, actually. <laughs> so you're the one who wants a grave in London. I've heard that strange music accompanies this special attack. The destructive power of this attack is most incredible. <laughs> is my music my battle him that famous by the way he said his does that look like a guy to you that does not look like a guy to me and it could it could be because it kind of has masculine features but forever i thought that, that was a woman until i really thought about it okay i'll let you hear it but i will tell you this youngster once you hear my battle him not long have you in this world this this guy has probably one of the coolest music tracks in the back here I mean, in general, this this game has excellent, excellent music. As you can see here, because his uh, like his chest area is a little bit smaller than the rest of them, it would be a really a better idea to shoot um, like the extremities, or not the extremities, more like the limbs, like the legs, and the arms. It actually does a lot more damage that way too. So doing that is definitely a much better idea. So if you can find a way to consistently hit those areas, you're gonna kill him way before he does a special attack. But actually, here's the special attack. He just shoots a lot of bullets at you. But if you can kill him quick enough, or use your bomb, it's probably not going to really do very much. You can just be like, hey, fuck you. I got you, and you're dead. My face. <laughs> I love that. I love looking at him after they die. Even though, if, they're, if, they're, if their ST exploded, then how are they alive? I wouldn't... Nobody would live through that. What an awful thing you've done to me. No excuse, just no excuse! The most beautiful thing in the world has been spoiled. No hope for you. The next chief will beat you up. Ooh, I saw that! Scared? Hee <laughs> This... This level, I think, is actually my overall favorite level in this game. And you'll see why. It's, like, it's a little bit different than the rest of them. I think it's fucking tight. Even though this is actually the easiest level in this entire game, and you'll notice why. And I really like the, I really like uh, Artemis. I think that's a cool name and a word. You wish to battle me? Yes, I must get to Thanatos, and I will destroy any chief in my way. But hey, I'm surprised. Your ST looks so much like Lorca's, and I thought he had come back for more punishment. Don't include me in the same thought as that. And anyhow. There are a number of reasons why I'm the Andy's chief. Da, 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 da. Oh well, I talk too much. Come on, big man, let's battle. I like how I totally forgot to change back on my voice acting there. She was uh, all loaded up on her testosterone. Anywho, this is definitely the easiest stage in this game. Which you would think would be a little bit harder because we're uh, going downwards instead of upwards. The key to this level is blowing up that that jetpack in the back of her. That's that's gonna be the uh, the kicker here. You do that, and she's pretty much toast. I usually have her dead by now, but see, look at look at how much that takes her health down. It's like it's almost stupid. And then she'll just sit there. <laughs> I think that the quickest I ever beat her was probably like 15 seconds, because I was able to blow up her jetpack in like five seconds, and it was just cake from there. Hey, are you all right? You are strange to worry about your enemy. Is it because I'm a woman? Well, 
You do not seem to be a bad person. I became one of the chiefs only to protect myself, but you are very strong. Maybe now is the time, the time that I have waited for. Yes. Off to Kyoto. To bite this guy. This guy is so creepy looking. He's fucking scary. I hated fighting this guy just because he's really, really weird looking. And he looks like a fucking alien. Like, I don't get it. The name of his tank is German, but he looks like a fucking alien. Like, a British alien with a monocle and really long eyebrows. Ooh, you wish battle with the best ST ever built? That pilot seems crazy, but the ST looks pretty strong. I've heard three orbs will circle over his head, firing at us as well. I was told the orbs fire will the orbs fire will turn an ST into Swiss cheese. Ooh, you think I am crazy? It is a great insult that you give to me. I'll pay you for the fun you make of me. My calculations say the chances of you winning are zero percent. This guy actually isn't very hard. His uh, he likes to talk up quite a hefty game, but just you watch, we're gonna kick his ass. He literally doesn't do very much. You can literally pretty much kill him doing this over and over again. It's it's almost stupid, actually. We'll use the bomb here. It's it's laughable at best. You can actually kill. You can actually uh, destroy the orbs if you fire at them. It's not too hard. And there you go. That takes care of that. Now his eyes are gone, and that pretty much takes care of all of his anything that he has. Guess what, Schneider? Guess what, Schneider? You're dead. Yeah. <laughs> In 3940. Not very hard. Ooh, my calculations were off. They said I could not lose. Spare my life and I'll do anything you say. Ooh. I like how his wig fell off, even though I didn't even know he was wearing one. Well, there we go. Oceania is actually going to be the first one that we do in the next episode, because that one actually holds a little bit of importance, so. I hope that you guys enjoyed me uh, burning through the first five stages in complete ease. So when we come back next time on Let's Play Battle Clash, it's going to be off to Oceania to fight the ST Ivan. Which, by the way, ST stands for Standing Tank. Just thought you guys might like to know that. Anywho, I will talk to you guys next time. This is your host, AMF1534, saying thank you guys for watching. Peace out!